Guys, tomorrow's the day. Are we ready? Yes. yes. I'll be the first one in the morning. Yeah, I'll be the second one midday. Right, I'll be the last one then in the afternoon. Okay, I'm off. So. Wait, Jamie, you got it? Oh, sorry, mate. Completely forgot. Hey, come again. How long did you spend looking for that? Thanks, Jamie. Your dad did a great job fixing it. And I spent the whole weekend, mate. But I don't really care because it's really important for her. Ah, oh, I see. Well, don't lose it. Come on, bye. You're welcome, mate. Take care. Alright, bye, guys. See you tomorrow. We're done. Let's do this. Hey, Amy. Jamie, what's up? Uh, nothing really. I was just wondering, how does it feel to be 18? Oh my god, really? Happy birthday, Amy. How are you? I'm good, thank you very much. You're actually the first person who contacted me for my birthday, you know. Of course I know, <laughs> as usual. Yeah, that's true. I, I was gonna tell you something. Yeah, what is it? Could you come out for your house on set? What? Why? Just do it, trust me. No way you're out of my house, no way. I'll see you in a minute then. Oh my God, Jamie. What is this? It's a happy birthday by Paper Hearts. Every Paper Heart has a note behind it about the experiences we lived together, the moments we shared, and the stuff I really like about you. Remember when you lost your favourite princess toy and I sold all my soldier toys to buy you a new one? I think my parents were right when they say it was always crazy. Did you actually do that? Wait, I didn't tell you. I thought I told you. No. You never did. Oh. I see. <laughs> My bad then. Why, Jamie? Why have you done all this for me? Just, why? Because I like you, Amy. I like you since I first saw you. And you always had a boyfriend or someone on your mind and I didn't want to bother that or anything. Jamie, I'm sorry. This is just beautiful. I think every girl would like to wake up and have a present like this for her birthday, but I'm not the one, Jamie. I only see you as a friend, and I'm not saying you're ugly or something. It's just that I don't feel that connection with you. I... I understand. I'm really sorry. I, I really appreciate what you've done for me. You'll find the right one, don't worry. There are, there are many girls out there looking for a guy like you. Trust me. Sophia. Sophia. Uh, Sophia. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <clears throat> I'm just really tired. Oh, come on, go up your phone. So, tell me, how'd it go? I lost in the first round. Oh, God. I'm, I'm so sorry, Sophia. You know what? I'm, I might just quit tennis. There's just too much competition in England. No, no, you can't do that. I won't let you. Kevin, you know how hard I've tried. You see how much I train. And it just does not seem worth it anymore. Oh, come on. You know what the most? It's the strongest ones who are the ones who can succeed. And plus, this is your best national competition. You can't give up now just because you lost, showing that you're weak. I know I'll cheer you up.
Are you kidding me? How did you get this? I know people. What do you mean you know people? There's like five editions of this in the world and it's so expensive. And your granddad had one of them. No, that, that's what got me into tennis in the first place. Thank you, Kevin. You're amazing. You know, you're always there for me when I actually need you the most and I really appreciate that. And I want to be there for you more often if you let me. <laughs> Why would you like to be there for me forever? You know I'm a disaster. Because, because I like you. I like you, Sophia. I've liked you ever since, ever since you first entered my classroom when we were kids and didn't know anything about life. I think you are amazing. I want to be there for you to see how, how we both succeed in life. When you're about to give up on something that you love. I want to be there for you in your saddest moments. And in your happiest moments too. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm so sorry, but I only see you as a friend. You know, I mean, I think you're great and I really appreciate everything you've done for me, you know? This tennis racket means a lot, but I just, I don't feel the same. I mean, out there there's, there's another girl that She's bound to be perfect for you. There are so many other girls that would love to be with a guy like you, Kevin. Trust me. Uh, I understand. Wow, um, the view is amazing. Well, I always come in to think, it's just helps me to organise everything in my mind. Um, it's a really nice place. Let me do that as well sometime. Do you have lots of things to think about? Um, yeah, I guess so. My mom, I miss her so much. And the only thing she, she gave me before, before she left, I lost it. Such a mess. <laughs> What's so funny? I'm just, I'm pretty sure your mum is proud of you. Here, take this. Uh, how? Why do you have this? So I went camping with my parents last week to the same place you were and luckily I found it. Oh my god, uh, thank you. Thank god, thank karma. I don't, I don't know what to think but thanks. Thanks. You're welcome. I don't know how you do it, but you, you always relate to the most unexpected and exciting moments in my life. I'm always related to your most unexpected and exciting moments in your life because I want to be. I make it happen. Why? How? Because I like you, Melissa. I like you since you showed me your support when I lost my old brother. And that was when we were only 10 years old. You've always been there for me and that's why I tried to surprise you and make you happy many times. I... I am... Oh, God. Hello, I can't talk right now. What? Again? Oh, God, okay, I'm going right now. Okay, bye, I'm going. What's up? Um, Dad, he's in trouble again. Please, uh... He may be drunk. I need to. I need to run before it gets worse. Uh, but I'll call you later, okay? Bye, Nick. Sorry. Bye. Uh, let me know if you need anything. Thanks. Bye. Yeah, Lauren. I'm with Kevin and Jamie already, so I'll see you, Daisy and Alison, in a couple of minutes. Yeah. All right. Bye. No one has ever come to my house at seven in the morning to wish me a happy birthday like that. By the way, mine is tomorrow. I guess it just doesn't feel the same way. I wanted to quit the sport which I loved. 
Because it's basketball, and no one cared. She was about to quit tennis, and I quickly changed her mind. Sophia just doesn't feel the same way. I lost my old brother's amulet, and no one never gave it to me from nowhere. And she met someone else too. What was it, by the way? Rubik's Cube. He used to solve it in less than a minute. Such a genius. <laughs> Come on, guys. We've got dates now. Ah, oh, shut up. They're best friends, man. <sighs> yeah. Come on. Got to take them from the douchebags. Oh, I'm just joking. We're all good friends. We're just that. Ah, oh, come on. Let's go. Hey, how's it going, bros? <laughs> My name is Peep. <laughs> Guys, tomorrow is the day. Yeah. Are we ready? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Jamie, you, you got it? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, Three. Oh, I'm joking, man. They're all good friends. <laughs> but just that, just that. I, I know, I know, I'm joking. That's just friend. But just that. Can <laughs> 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 we had the name or no? So look at the camera. Look at the phone. I was about to quit the sport which I love. This is basketball. And no one cares. She was about to quit tennis and I quickly changed her mind. <laughs> So if you had to feel the same. I'm so sorry, man. But some reason I. Okay, okay, cool, cool. I'm sorry, man. That's right.